Here's Ellie, master barrel picker for cast and cellar. Master taster, <laughs> is that your official title? Yes. What is going on everybody? We are on our way down to Kentucky to help select a barrel of bourbon whiskey. Wrestling with whiskey, partnering with Cask and Cellar in Highland, Indiana. So this bottle will be exclusively available at Cask and Cellar. Uh, it's not a far drive from Chicago. I try to visit there every now and then. You know, it's, it'll be a great opportunity to support a local store, an independently owned store. So. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes process of how this thing goes. If you don't know what a barrel pick is like, I know many of you do, but there's a lot out there who are very curious. So I'll show you a thing or two about how we do this whole thing called picking barrels, which is all the rage in whiskey. So stay tuned. outside Louisville. First time staying in a hotel since this whole corona craziness has started. So this will be interesting for someone who used to do it for a living. Okay, not gonna lie, feels totally kind of surreal to be back in a, in a hotel room after having spent so much time, you know, on the road and then having these like four months just going nowhere and then also coming back under these circumstances but everything seems to be clean i'm wiping things out anyway extra hand sanitizer wearing my masks in the lobby things like that so um yeah i'm gonna go meet the guys we're gonna get a drink and have some food and discuss for tomorrow Okay, so we warmed up our palates last night, maybe a little too much, but I've got everything packed up, ready to go. Let's head over to Bullet, let's go get the guys, let's get this thing started, I'll show you what I can. Let's take a look. So we are here now at Bullet, things are getting set up. And then we're gonna take a little walk around, check things out, and then taste some stuff. So before we actually taste things, they gave us a tour, which was nice, because we really weren't sure with everything going on, that was something we were gonna be able to get to do. So they go from the visitor center onto the grounds of the distillery, which is brand new. I'm not gonna remember everything they said about it, but it's state of the art, very high tech. And they show you around using the grains, they show you all the equipment used to mill the grains, Everything you may have seen in any other distillery tour, they kind of give you their own truncated version of it, including the mash tubs. And what was cool about Bullet is they actually had some equipment there that let you see how everything was done, which I thought was a nice visual, including this, which was even taken from Stitzel Weller and refurbished to be put in the new distillery. Now it's time for the fun part. We are gonna be tasting and picking some whiskey. So let's jump into that. So you come down to the tasting room and everything is laid out beautifully. You have your glasses covered up, blinded for you so you don't know exactly what you're tasting. And it was safe with hand sanitizer. We had our masks, but that can make your hands kind of smell. So our guide actually gave us coffee beans to rub in your hands to neutralize the scent of the sanitizer, which I thought was a really nice touch. And from there, it was on to sipping and copious, copious note-taking. None of us saying a word, but at some point, it's time to discuss. Finish on that is just like, yes, I'm most intrigued by it. I want to have more of this. I want to explore it. I want more of that. Yeah. And some OKIs did that. GTS does that for me. Um, some of the Blondes do that for me, you know. And that's what I loved about number four. It's got that finish that, yes, I want more. 
I want to try it. I think maybe I want to know why it dries my mouth up, and I want to and I want to explore more. Number three was great, but it didn't have that to that extent. I think I shied away from number four because I couldn't figure out what that flavor what it was, and it was melon. And I was like, mm, this is weird. And I shied away from it because I couldn't figure out. Huh? It is melon. Yeah. Oh. I never would have pinpointed that. He does have a good palate. We don't tell him yeah. very often. Cause <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what, what, what that does, what the melon does. Is it, it completely dries your mouth out, yeah. and then it's just like you on the finish. You're like, wait a second. Do you find that whenever you taste melon, do you find that it dries your mouth? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. It's not so much the taste for right. me. It's that mouthfeel. It, it has that same effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I have melon, when I have pineapple, or melon or papaya, mm. that that is exactly what happens. Like you mm. try it, it's very flavorful, but it dries your mouth out, which blows my mind. If I have an orange, I, I feel fine. Right. You right. know, if, if I have an apple, salad, little right. more. I feel fine. Right. But if I have the melon, all of a sudden it's like, it, it forces you to salivate, it dries it out, and then all of a sudden you're like, mm. yes, I want another bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand that. Some people try and go back to the old ones and then it gets really convoluted. So just go ahead and remove okay. one, three, and four from your mat. I will bring it. Awesome. Uh, you want to do an old-fashioned with all of them first? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? One of each recipe, right? Well, no, but I'm... Yes. Yes. So I'll make one cocktail. But... Right. So to be fair, this is probably something they probably don't let everybody do. <laughs> but we're awesome, and we're cool, and sometimes that goes a long way. And you gotta get the uh, full experience. Well, I have years ahead of me, Charlie. So it looks like we might have found a barrel, but then we had our time to time between two. And so, what happens when you do that? You don't just pick one; you pick both of them. So we picked two of our favorites here. They'll be available in Northwest Indiana through Cask and Cellar. So make sure you check those out when they're hitting. Coming up with fun things like names and stickers and all that goofy nonsense. But a uh, very successful pick here at Bullet. So keep an eye out, guys. Keep an eye out on my social for when those drop at Cask and Cellar in Northwest Indiana. But for now, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit those alerts so you can join us the next time on Wrestling with Whiskey.